and then, oh my god, I can't stand Karen. And she was like, oh my... Oh! Hey guys, uh -huh. didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to Mukbang Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you were dying to show you how cheesy that was, aren't oh. you? <laughs> the cringe factor was exponential. We're all about the cringe here. Oh, and we are all about this amazing mukbang that we have for you today. Oh my god, I've look at this. Making this, mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like just a nice huge piece of bread, right? And then we have all of this bread inside gut stuff here, so. Okay, firstly, bread inside gut stuff. <laughs> the inside of the bread, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so, I, love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Here, it's all on the side of the plate, so what's inside the bread? I'll tell you. It is some beautiful, <gasps> steaming, delicious, homemade soup. Tell them what's in it. So we have leeks. Do you want the, the actual proportions that I've put in? Or... No, I think, I think I've run down. <laughs> I, mean, I, I can do the recipe for you if you we'll like. I'll show you the recipe in the comments if you need it. Uh, so we have leeks, onions, pepper, carrots, and pumpkin. And pumpkin. And pearl and barley. I forgot about pearl and barley. And it is definitely autumn or fall, depending on which side of the country or the world you're from. There are the spices and stuff in there so as well, we but those are the main pumpkin. It is pumpkin time. We're going to be eating pumpkin for approximately the next seven years because we have a giant pumpkin. Oh god, yeah. Um, it's already done two soups from what, a quarter of it or something like that? Not even that. <laughs> <laughs> we probably had like an eighth wow. of that. This is so good. I cannot wait to get started on this. All I'm right. Forward to actually eating the top bit first, actually. <laughs> I, I love the mm. inside squishy bits because you can do like this. I like um, it, it makes like a really small piece of bread after you squish it. I like taking the top off and then feeling the top because it's really, really hot. hot. <laughs> it's like it's freshly baked. <laughs> Snowball. If you're with my ice cream people. <laughs> you got a thing. Uh, well, this is why trays are good. I keep telling him about the virtues of having a tray and he doesn't listen. The virtues of having a tray. The virtues of the tray. Not just well, for... Actually, I can, I can do this. It keeps the rest of the, the stuff warm and then I can just like pick it up. Oh, You've oh, got a oh. lid on your... This is what he's doing, guys. He has it like this. Yeah, it protects the rest of the bread. It's that, just too fancy for me. Fancy? Fancy. Oh, fancy. Nice. Miss Vanjie. Mm. <laughs> I'd say it worked. That worked. That's good soup. Thank you. Uh, I'd say Miss Vanjie did work because oh everyone, everyone knows her. who she is. Miss Vanjie. I think so, from the first person out her first ever season that she did, mm. no one remembers the first person leaving. No, except from Miss Vanjie. Yeah. And her... That's spectacular. I actually think her second exit was better than her first exit. It was hilarious. She just kept coming back time and time again. It was smart the first couple of times she did it, and I was like, okay. No, I on. love the fact that it didn't end. I actually would have liked <laughs> two or three more on there. Just keep coming back. I'm glad she did come back for that season, mm. because I think she did a lot better. Also, if you're going to keep coming and bringing somebody back, like Shangela, then I would love Miss Vanjie to just be in every single season from now on. That would actually I mean, make my day. How many times did she... Because Sandra was in season two. She was in season... I don't know. Three. Six? She was in three as well. Oh, yeah, because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She came back straight away. And then she was in... Oh, that's it. Two, three, and All-Stars... Two? Or two, three? I think, yeah. Or two. three. Two or three. There's four altogether, so I think it was number three. I think it's three, because... Is that one that no, didn't have the double win? No, number three was the one, yeah, it's number three, because that was the oh, one where I all the other queens had to come back and, like, um, vote, and then it was mm. wrong, and even RuPaul was like, yeah, we, we messed up. And which if RuPaul, um, huh? Who, which season was that? Season three, when Trixie Mattel won, instead of Shangela, it should have been Shangela. I don't even know uh, Shangela. And it should have been Trixie. I am actually a Trixie Mattel fan, and I don't even like Shangela, and even I acknowledge it should have been Shangela the one, so... I mean, I, I just prefer Trixie. Mm. I felt that they she really love Trixie, was a lot but better. she's just—I don't know. She doesn't need a win. She's a really, she's really cool. Mm. How come she needed the win? And 
or I'm just waiting for the day. I just want Bob the Drag Queen and Bianca Del Rio in the same season. I think I find Bianca Del Rio funnier than Bob the Drag Queen. Yeah, I agree. Bianca Del Rio is the funniest drag queen. Mm. Probably of all time. I've not seen all of them of all time, but I feel confident making that statement. I also, I would completely say that Bianca Del Rio is one of the more... Oh, what's the word? Successful. Yeah, more one. successful. She's got her movies. She's got movies. She's... No, so like Wembley. Mm-hmm. She's in yeah, she uh, did, um, West, um, West End. She's in a West End play, yeah. yeah. Um, Travelling around. She's done very well for herself, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, more than a lot of other people that have actually won it. That's true. Like I don't hear or see what Sharon Needles is doing or Raja. Yeah, Sharon Needles. Well, I see Raja around a little bit on YouTube. Um, yeah. Appearing on other people's shows usually. And but there are other drag queens which didn't win Ru- RuPaul's Drag Race, which are doing which a lot are really doing well. Um, Eureka O'Hara. I see her everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the other fat one? The more recent one. They all blend into one for me. Uh, I don't remember her I name. You see, the... Ginger Minj is around quite a lot, but that's yeah. not what I meant. Um, I was thinking about Miss Fame. Miss Fame in uh, all those makeup adverts for mm-hmm. who? Yeah, all those makeup adverts for all those companies mm-hmm. that are really memorable that you remember so well. Mm-hmm. But I remember that she was in them. She was. That's a fact that mm. we can't dispute. You know, if I'm going to think makeup and. Someone who's close to being a drag queen, I definitely think Jeffrey Star. I don't even. I can't even talk about Jeffrey Star. He's such an asshole, and everyone just forgives him for it all the time. I mean, I, I, I was, and I have watched a couple of videos where he does the whole going to like a dollar store mm. and buying up their own brand makeup and trying it out, and. I'd probably say the first one, I can't think it's Dollar General, I think. Dollar Show, I can't remember which one, but he's like, on the way there, it was like, oh, you know, going to the going to these cheap places, you know, it gets me very excited. And it's like, well, some people, it's just that normal. Yeah. But he's also, like, incredibly racist, and he also doesn't pay people for their work, so. Was that... Was that proven wrong in the end? I can't no, remember. it was it was real. Um, he tried to pretend it wasn't real, but then I can't remember. I think they ended up making him pay the guy. I can't remember, but um, mm. yeah, he was really horrible throughout that whole thing. It's really it horrible to take... James Charles as well, actually. Which Jeffrey Charles, isn't it? No, Jeffrey Star, James Star. Yeah, you're right. Mm. At a moment, at a little mm. scene on a moment, it's fine. And he definitely went in on James Charles. Hmm. Which James Charles actually did have the receipts. Yeah, we. I love it when people have the receipts. I love those YouTube channels that um, they they keep track of all the drama, mm. and they get the Snapchat screenshots before they disappear, and they get the Twitter screenshots before they get daddy deleted, and they get the Instagram comments and everything, and they're like receipts, 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 receipts. I love uh, that. I do, I do like those ones, particularly the British ones at the moment. Mm. <laughs> like um, there's a few I've bought right now. Um, Memeless. There's a guy. And I Nabba and I Am Alex. There's a guy I follow, I can never remember what his name is because he looks exactly like someone that we get, went to uni with. So I just refer to him as that guy that looks like Callum in my head. <laughs> I know the guy you mean. Mm. I, I, I just think he Callum. just looks like Callum. <laughs> He's good though. Yeah. I like, and I like, um, there's one, I can't remember what it's called, like Drag. I don't know, it's like a pun on Drag Race and it has all like the behind the scenes Drag Race secrets. I love that one. Kind of like, is it like, unto- no, it's the YouTube one. Mm, yeah, it's like an unaffiliated one. That's one thing I, I don't understand, particularly Netflix. They got uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Uh, they've got All Stars on there. Mm-hmm. But not Untucked. Yeah, well, because Untucked was um, owned separately, so. That is why. I think they do have it on there now for the um, Ru- more recent seasons because it's yeah, a changed yeah, yeah. format. And also, on top, didn't exist for some of the seasons. So. I thought it's been around since season two. Yeah, but then it got canned at one point. Or well, as Netflix says, season one. Uh-huh. Which is very confusing. It is very confusing. Like. I remember when we first started watching, we were like, but why can't we start at season one? <laughs> we have to start from season two. And then we read into it more. Mm. It was very much. The lighting. Oh, the filter was amazing. <laughs> 
they keep intending to go back and watch it anyway, but I never get around to it because you have to basically ba- try and find it on YouTube or something. I mean, if you're watching a YouTuber, these have, have a long history of being on YouTube and they've got good quality stuff now, yeah, and, and, then, you and then you go back, back and you're like, oh, oh, I kind of feel like us. It's going to be like us, you know? We're going to look back on like this setup and just be like, oh, okay. I'm like, what is she doing? Mm-hmm. Blue with that soup. <laughs> I don't know. Oh jeez, I didn't realise I had to match my makeup to my soup. Now I've got like a whole complex. Oh no. Oh. Copyright for everybody. Well, that was slightly off the key, but... Oh. There you go. (laughs) That's a better one. Uh, (laughs) I mean, I I shouldn't have really done a pumpkin soup. Why? Because it's not technically October. (laughs) I mean, it's like... Just get in there early. This isn't a spooky soup. It's just pumpkin. Oh, well, that's it. I saw Fanta for Halloween and releasing. It's just their own flavor, normal orange flavor, but it's going to be black. I kind of want to get I it. I kind of want to get that. <laughs> that's, that's a good marketing trick. I know. I love Halloween versions of stuff. I really go into it. Well, it's like, you know, what was it? Um, the coloured ketchups. The Heinz mm. Easy Squeeze? Yeah, with all the different colours. That, <laughs> I absolutely love. I and love, then they stopped um, it and I was so disappointed. I love Scream Eggs. Are they doing Scream Eggs this year again? I hope they are. I hope they are. Those are really good. Again, they, they taste exactly the same. They're just a slightly different It's colour. just exactly the same. It's just a different colour. <laughs> just love it. Mm. That was, well, is there anything they can do Cream Eggs with it? Like any other holiday? It's not really any... You could do... Um, I don't know. Uh, they could do like a red... Like they could... I don't know. A red and green one for Christmas. It doesn't really make sense. But it it really doesn't. No. <laughs> I mean, as much, what they do is they just change the packaging to something slightly mm. Christmassy, don't they? Mm. And they don't really talk about it. It's only and it's scream eggs. Mm-hmm. I remember when those are only like seasonal, and you had to wait until you know, April to, mm-hmm. to get a cream egg. I hated that. I liked it. I like seasonal really? stuff. I like the I like anticipation. <laughs> And I like. I kind of do and I kind of don't. Like, I kind of. Because I love mince pies and I feel like if mince oh. pies were available all year round, I would just eat mince pies non stop and I'd be. I thought waitress really, did mince really, pies really all year round. Don't tell me that because I'll go and buy them. I mean, you can oh. li- you can make a mince pie at any point of the year. Mm. I like them ready made and available. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still going through mine. This, this cheese is like super good. No, the last two actually. I'm glad I got them. Oh wow! And usually quite picky, as well, because they're usually quite burnt. I feel like that's an entire block of cheese just on top of this loaf. Oh, I remember we were at my sister's and we had that oh, fondue. We, we had a fondue. She was oh like, my gosh. okay, just two blocks of cheese, some Jack Daniels. There we go, fondue. <laughs> I think there was like Guinness in there or something as well. I feel like. There was there was definitely more than just more than just Jack Daniels. I remember it being really good. Yeah, it was really good. Um, but then we had like really unorthodox things to dip in, like broccoli and stuff. I like that. It was weird. <laughs> I like the mushrooms on there. I feel like I, I feel like if I'm doing a fondue, I feel like I want to just dip cheese into the cheese. I mean, when do we have a fondue? It's not really like a thing you do as a couple. It's more like you get more people over to do a fondue. This is true. I mean, it's not. It's a 70s thing, isn't it? It's fondue. very 70s, yeah. Oh, I bet in the 70s you would have like a fondue party and then you'd all swap car keys to like find out who's going home with whose wife. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea though, isn't it? Oh, we're just going to melt some cheese and stick some stuff in it. Perfect. Stick whatever in there. I thought you meant cheese. wife swapping was a good idea. <laughs> uh, Watch your words. No. <laughs> also, because it's not a good idea at all. But yeah, pretty much cheese with anything is a good idea. If you ask me. I mean. In my humble opinion. Well, cheese cannot improve everything. Cheese and chocolate. So you'll have a bit of cheddar with chocolate. Yeah, I absolutely would. I don't see what's wrong with that. 
I used to eat. This is a true story. Okay, we're going to do it on a uh, uh, bun. going to get a load of cheese and just dip it in a pot. I'll do it. Do. Oh, I don't care. I'll do it. Actually, that won't work because it'll melt. That won't work because it'll melt. <laughs> um, what I used to eat when I was at high school, this is a very true story, is we would go to Tesco and I would buy a cheesy baguette, which was a bit like this with the cheese on top, and I would buy a pack of cookies, milk chocolate cookies, and I would tear open the bread and I would put the cookie in the middle of the bread and I would eat a baguette cookie cheese sandwich. You are wrong. True story. It's actually delicious. It's Is it like you're trying to tell me that the McFlurry with Oh my god, you're gonna put the McFlurry French thing roll. again. The I McFlurry's will. I'll bring with up fries every single delicious. video. It's it's just okay. Ice cream with fries is the best. And it's specifically McDonald's. It's just okay. You know, I was reading up so like, uh, uh, like other weird flavor combinations like that. People like putting chips in their cream egg, like dipping it in. Hmm. I was like, really? Hmm. I mean, I don't. I'm not convinced by that one. I was talking to someone the other day, and they told me that coriander. Um, you actually have your your genetics decide whether you like coriander or not. Yeah. So if you so some people will find it to be a very mild taste that doesn't really bother them at all and they're just like, yeah, it's coriander, it's fine. Some people find it to be incredibly strong and they hate it and can't stand it. And I am definitely in the hating coriander camp. For me is I do find it a strong flavour. I could do without it, but if it's in there, I'm like, okay, it's in there. I kind of I can tolerate a small amount of it, but the other day I had a sandwich from Pret. And it was just literally like coriander across the entire thing, like in a thick line. So I ate like a few bites and then I just picked the rest of it. That's the thing with a lot of vegetarian food. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just put coriander in it. Oh, I put mint on it. Oh, I put aubergine on it. I hate mint so much. I mean, I like mint, like in that tea, cho mint chocolate chip, ice cream. Uh, after eights. After eights are okay. I'll give you but that. But in a salad with or savoury stuff I'm just like mm, no but people have a roast and they're like oh I have some mint sauce why yeah. why do you want a mint sauce why do you want a roast oh, roast bed. you like roasts I like roast vegetables yeah <laughs> the corn roast has always been a bit gross to me it's I mean, just a bit boring it's, it's, it's just a giant hunk of mm. corn it's I mean, it's probably other stuff you can do with it. Like yeah. You can cook it, cut it up, and mix it into other things, but just as its own thing. Not I mean, it's, to it's, the flavour's okay. It just it's, doesn't look great. I mean, it's, it's, I'll give them this. It has improved a lot since, like, when I was a kid, it was just disgusting. It now has a little bit of flavour and a little bit of texture, but not enough to make it interesting. You know, the, some good things come out of corn. Mm. Oh, against this. Corn sausage rolls. Yes. Is it sausage rolls or no, pasties. Pasty. It's, it's a pasty. I doing. really want to try that actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I love the Greg's vegan I, sausage roll. I was just looking over here like, what is that thing in the corner of my eye? And I realised it's glitter that's caught on my eyelashes. <laughs> Catching the light. Oh dear. But yeah, I really like the vegan sausage roll from Greg's. R really good. Are you right there? <laughs> <laughs> Stripping. <laughs> Dropping pieces of cheese into my soup. I'm doing pretty good, guys. I've got to show you. I have... Um, my, oh, gosh. Sliding. I'm yeah, not going to show you guys anything ever again, because that was dangerous. Mm -hmm. But, I'm, yeah, I'm just, like, skipping out of the, the sides so they can break down the rest of my bread soon. I, I, don't, of, I don't know how you do it. I, I can never get in, like, through a bread bowl in one day. I know. You never do. You never manage One meal, I should say. Yeah, well, I just keep going, then. I just keep chugging on. I still, I seriously still think that I would be really good as a championship eater. Not like, not necessarily speed eating, but like if it's endurance eating, I am there. I mean, I can do it. I mean, there are contests like that. I hope there a are. A lot of them are speed eaters, though. You yeah, a lot, like, of, a lot of speed eaters. So well, even if it's like how much you can eat in like six hours. Mm. So it's like a more of a marathon than a sprint. See, so you're dripping too. I've told you. I just dropped a little bit of cheese, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, I, if it's an endurance thing, I could do it. I mean, if it's given a lot of time, yeah. I could do this easily, but that's what 
Not usually what happens at the contest, is it? Well, not like a lot of time, like a day, but like a couple of hours. Because I find like I get full, but um, my metabolism just resets really quickly, and then I'm like, yeah, let's grace some more and let's go. Mm. I just don't think I. I'll probably get through much of this, and then I'll just like have the rest later on <laughs> after a second win. Second win is dangerous. We should not. We should just stop after the first win. The second wind is a sign that you should not be eating this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Totally agree with that. But I'll not follow through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Still yeah, definitely so no putting off this. <laughs> oh, no, we still didn't get any um, fortune cookies. We usually end by doing a fortune cookie, but we've won out. I was going to get some in Chinatown, and I completely forgot. Mm. So did I, mm. to be fair. But I did bring back lots of buns to make yeah, up the, for it. Yeah, that was last week's video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I believe is still available on our Twitch. A little advertising there. Mm -hmm. and check out the video from last week and you know, smash that subscribe button. <laughs> really helps us out. Like it as well. Yeah. Always, like, YouTube people are always like... It's like when Press YouTube changes their format of their... Yes, and then nothing then makes the sense ones. anymore. <laughs> It's like, press here, it's like, there's nothing up there. <laughs> That's good. Or like when you're watching YouTube on your phone, or in a different format, like in theatre format or something, and they're pointing to the corner and you're like, oh, that's the edge of my phone screen. What happens if I press that? Nothing. I mean, oh yeah, I hate that. It's like, oh, press that, oh, nothing happens. Mm. At all. What's the point? You know, it's mid-roll ads in YouTube videos. One at the beginning oh, is fine. Yeah. I'm a, you know what? If it's a long video, put three at the beginning. I don't mind. But then when you have to sit there, and like the person is talking, and then halfway through the sentence, when they get halfway through the sentence, it's just suddenly like, and then Colgate is a great toothpaste that you should use for your teeth. And then they just carry on as if they didn't, because they didn't know when the break was coming. But well, they should allow the, people to like, They do, they do. They can, they can put them where they like. A lot, oh. of, a lot of YouTubers will place it in a convenient place. Uh, a lot of them don't. Yeah, a lot of them just like shove it in wherever it A lot go. of people just put them right at the beginning so you have to watch them. Yeah. Particularly on those, those double that. ones. I hate those double ones. I don't mind it so much because I know that it's paying for this thing to actually be in front I of know, me. I know, so. but then you have ones like apology videos, like I'm sorry I did this, and they have like 13 mid-rolls mm. on them. It's like, you're not really sorry. Yeah. Or they, they have the, the classic YouTube sigh. It's like... <sighs> yeah, and then they start the video. I am... Um, I really hate games though these days, the way you can't get through a game without um, having to click on an ad or watch a whole uh, ad. And I, I, I kind of don't mind it when it's like pay to play where you can watch the ad if you want extra stuff. Yeah. But when you actually have to watch the ad and you don't have a choice, that really annoys me. The games where you have to pay in order to win. Mm. Well, I don't... See, I'm not, I'm not competitive in that sense of like I have to be at the top of the leaderboard. My competitiveness is more like gotta catch them all, Pokemon type stuff. I'm like, I want everything that's but in the game. If you get to a stage like you know those um what? um candy Crush? Yeah. <laughs> like those sort of games where they get to a point where you just have that over and over and over and over and over and over and it's quite obvious that the only way you're gonna be able to do this level is if you buy the extras mm. on it. And I'm just like, no. Because there's then there's yeah. no skill in it. You see with those games, so I used to play um Oh, what's it called? The, the house one. Sims? <laughs> the like, Sims. Well, the house. After the Sims. Um, um, when you're build, rebuilding your house by playing the match game, there's a house... Oh, Gardenscapes and... What's the house one called? Housecapes? You'd think, but no. Um, whatever Gardenscapes' his partner is called, anyway. So I used to play those, and with those, they, they do the exact same thing where they make it so you have to pay. And I just used to just play the level over and over again, and then even just take a few days off and not go back to it. And then what happens is they make it really super easy and basically unlock the level for you so that you'll carry on playing because they recognise that it's better for you to carry on playing than to yeah. stop altogether. Again, there's no skill in that then. Yeah. Because you're just waiting it out. Yeah, or just getting lucky. Mm. Especially if you like, I don't know, pay Gizabor. I love Gears of War. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh, this guy's so obsessed with Gears of War. Hashtag Gears of War. 
That was uh, one of these. Yeah. I couldn't see. Uh, but he then gets to a point where he basically has to keep grinding and grinding and grinding until the level makes it easier mm. for you. you. Well, although a lot of video games of do have that point where, like, yeah, like, it's not luck, it's skill, where, um, mm. you... I, like, this is why I didn't play many video games when I was a kid. I used to just play, like, Pokemon-type stuff, because um, most traditional format video games, you get to a certain point where it just gets... Because it, it gets harder every fight. Yeah. And then you get to a certain boss where I was just like, right, I've tried this 50 times, I'm not going to ever get past it because it never gets easier. Hmm. So I'm just going to give up. And I did. There was one... I was like, no, I shall do this for the entire day if necessary. I did one. Um, I'm trying to think which one it is. Which one's the one um, with all, like, Disney characters in it? There's a whole franchise. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. So I had that for the DS, which I feel like is a real... It's not, like, that. good nerd credentials to have it for the DS. But I had it on the DS, and yes. there was like this one move that you learned really early on. I don't remember which, which number it was for the DS, but anyway. There was a move that you, uh, you learned really early on, and your little mentor guy told you how to do it. Like, a series of buttons that you did. Not the traditional. Mm. No. A new sequence. And you don't have to use it again. I mean, it's a finishing move, so you can use it again. But I just leveled up my characters really well and I didn't need to use it again until the boss fight. And the only way you can kill the boss is by using this move. So, but first of all you have to wear him down. You have to do like one round of like killing him and then he resets to full health. Then you have to kill him again. And then after the second time you have to use this finishing move. And I'm not lying, it took me about two months of constantly playing this goddamn level to finally get it past the second stage. I was like, yes, I've done it. And then it goes, finish him. Use your special move. And I was like, I don't remember how to do that. I, I, I don't. And then it just went, do, 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 do. he's live again. He's back to full health. I'm like. That is based on uh, Earthbound, where one of your characters right at the beginning of teaming up with them learns this move called prayer. Which does absolutely nothing to anything. Did everybody hate it? Everyone kind of was like, well, Earthbound's a classic and it is <laughs> so good. It's just a weird RPG. But until so you're beating the last boss and you're literally left with fight, I believe, and prayer. Mm. And prayer just makes you, your teammates, and everyone else in the world pray and you basically <laughs> pray this evil thing away it's kind of actually a horrible ending it's just like I, don't, I feel like that's a video game where you played it and then you got tricked into being preached to about god like you got to the end and you realize like wait this has been it's, a sermon it's a, this it's whole a time? lot darker than that actually because you have you have to go back in time to being the main boss is vulnerable like as a it's, it's thought to be a baby in a womb and you basically have to pray away <laughs> you're praying for it to have uh, an abortion. <laughs> yes. Oh, video games. 1980s, early 90s mm -hmm. Japanese games, am I right? <laughs> These days I'm quite side by it. Uh, there's a huge influx of Korean games at the minute. Mm. Which is really interesting to me because it's like, it's like an emerging culture that we don't... Like Japan and China, I feel like we've had a lot of immersion in their, in their different cultural things. Mm. Through video games, through television and film, through... Although, to be fair, like, a lot of the time, Hollywood is like, oh, Chinese people are evil, for some reason. They do um, that with pretty much any person that's, that's outside. That's not American, that's true, that's true. Yeah, English people are always villains. What's up with that? Well. I like quite it. quite good at it. I quite like it, yeah. You remember that advert? Um, a Jag. Tom Hiddleston Jaguar advert. Mm. And they're, they're going on about how... Um, you only super villains. <laughs> only super villains drive, 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 drive a Jaguar. That's a good advert. I do mm. like that one. It made me want a Jaguar. I right or a Tom Hiddleston. I'm happy either way. <laughs> uh, I'll have a um, Scarlett Johansson. Fine by me. You can have her. It's meant to turn out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want a. Groot. I'll, I'll have a Groot. Yeah, let's have a Groot. A baby Groot, though. I'm not sure about teenage Groot. Mm. Um, do you remember Just when... He's vines everywhere. Yeah, leaves vines all over the place and he's really grumpy. Do you remember when um, Taylor Swift and Tom Hiddleston pretended they were dating? That was funny. 
Oh, what's this? Callum plays. Callum M plays says hello. Wink if you're kidnapped. Oh, it's okay. Um, what if I do this? This will be really confusing to you. Am I double kidnapped? <gasps> What's happening? And Bomb Duck says, hello, are you real? No. Callan also says, hello, are you real? No. And then Suddy Mate says, hello, are you real? No, I'm not. Callan Play says, we thought you were a bot channel. <laughs> and Bomb Duck just has a silver crying face emoji thing. Oh, well, you, did, you wanted me to be fake? You upset that I'm real? That's crazy. And Callan Play says, we are the real bots. Oh, well that explains everything, I guess. Mm. Welcome, bots. Welcome to our channel. I don't know, that was a Russian accent. I'm really sorry, that was awful. That, that was a Russian sad. accent? I know, exactly. that wasn't an accent of any kind. Oh my gosh, this bread is starting to get really... It's really soggy. <laughs> it's full of soup. Mm. Oh, I do like this food. Mm. I'm starting to realise there's a lot of soup back in the corners that I didn't realise was in there. I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can see. There's like, it's, it's still real soupy up in here. This is a really thick soup. That's how I like it. It's. It's mostly very just thin. like. It's mostly just like a puree. It's not really a soup anymore. <laughs> oh. I think I might need to You you're already giving up. Oh, it's it's a first. I have to do the tip. I've eaten half a loaf. Mhm. Mm it's very filling. I'm managing. See, I told you I could be a champion eater. Mhm. Mm I'm having to eat my lipstick at the same time. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I'm not giving up. I'm fine. You know what? I, I have to take some refreshments. Yeah, go for it. Mm. Without moving. <laughs> this is actually a precarious situation here. Oh, all right. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't need any drink oh, until now because I've basically been drinking soup. Oh, yeah. You know what you should do is just add sugar to this because, well, actually, why? Bread contains sugar. Well, because you can always fit more sugar in your stomach. True. So what's sweet? If you're if you're like in a championship, you should just have a vial of sugar up your sleeve, and then if you're like struggling, they, they just used to drink a load of water to expand the stomach. And then you can keep going. No, is that how it works? They just... Pretty sure that's how it works. No. Science. It's not how it works. That is how it works. All right. What were we even this talking about glucose. before this? I don't even remember. I'm trying I to watch something important. I can't remember. But glucose makes your stomach expand. Just saying. Well, that's I feel why like, you can always fit dessert in. I feel like for me, it's cheese. I can always fit in more cheese. Like if I'm really, if I'm like, no, I'm so full. I couldn't eat anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, cheese? Oh yeah, I will. Thank you. Thank you. No, it'd be cheesecake. Oh my like god, cheesecake. Version. Cheesecake is oh, an elevated right, form of cheese. Dessert. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. It's really squishy now. It's kind of become like a batter. So it's very interesting, the different stages that bread goes through when it's soaked in soup. I mean... Mmm. It's like an English muffin now, you know the texture? Yeah? <laughs> you would know if you weren't such a baby, and if you were actually finishing yours. I'm taking a small break, alright. <laughs> I was eating this while making it, so... Oh my gosh, you were eating more already. Well, I had to taste it. <laughs> well, do you Honestly. mean like one spoonful or do you mean half a bowl? Like a couple of spoonfuls. <laughs> like, oh, it tastes like this now. Alright, I'll do this. Alright, it tastes like this. I'll do this. Yeah. See, <sighs> I think you're just being a baby. Well, I think that you are just being mean. Hmm. I suppose you could find an argument for that in court. Oh, 
Oh, you see, this is what happens. Like, the further down the meal we get, mm. like, we start off with, like, really interesting things to talk about, and then we get further down, and we're just like... <laughs> I thought you were doing okay. I'm doing fine. Uh -huh. You're the one that's sore. Laggy. Cormac McLaggen. It's a Harry Potter joke. Ah. I, don't, I don't get it. No, watch Harry Potter. You have. You've <laughs> seen Harry Potter with me. Don't trample that. Have I never watched Harry Potter with you? I don't remember, but we definitely did. Okay, oh. Fantastic Beasts. Is oh, not... I love Fantastic Beasts. It's not exactly Harry Potter. Harry Potter's the same universe, but Harry Potter's not actually in it. Yes, but I love Eddie Redmayne, and I love Fantastic Beasts. The new one was pretty good. Everyone was saying, going into, like, you know, when we were sort of seeing it, like, the reviews and everything beforehand, they were saying that it wasn't great. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So. Haters can... Do whatever they like, because I ain't going to tell them what to do. Then go very far away. Yeah, why not? To... Haters can keep their opinions to themselves. <sighs> Got my lovely, attractive hand wipe here. <laughs> There's just too much bread flying around now. It's just... I was, uh, you said you're going to finish it, you're going to finish it. Hmm. You've got... Uh, five minutes. What? I, I, I surrender. Alright, I'll give you a little bit more time. Five minutes, five seconds. I volunteer as tribute. You can get anywhere you feel the bread. <laughs> You'll be the first mm. ones to get killed. Maybe that's the plan. Yeah, but I won't starve in the arena, will I? Because I've had loads of food. I mean... You literally just have to run away for the Hunger Games and just hide. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is like completely full of soup. This is a soup sandwich officially now. Mm. If you're in the Hunger Games mm. and you had to partner up, mm. what other film or TV character would you partner up with? Thing is though. <laughs> I could choose somebody, but only one can win. Yeah. So there's to be someone who oh, well, you're thinking can is help you, you but then you have them. to kill them. No, what if two of you win, like um, Caddis and Peter? Well, if it's two for then I'm getting Logan. I'm getting Logan. <laughs> he's practically immortal and he comes with weapons built in. I'm thinking I might um, pair up with Sherlock because he's super smart, so he would be able to like figure out where everybody was. and like, Even if somebody confronted us, he'd be like, aha! I see by the turn of your cuff that you've lost a family member recently. Do you miss your grandmother? And then they would just start crying. And that would definitely ha help when they're rushing <laughs> towards you with an axe. <laughs> well, I'll well, probably sure. go with uh, Doctor Strange because he can just teleport oh my God. there. What if you could just have Benedict Cumberbatch but he had all of the powers combined of all of his different characters? Breathe fire, super intelligent, can bend time and space... Yes! We found it! Benedict Cumberbatch is the ultimate Hunger Games companion. Mm-hmm. Argue with me if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this is a little bit gross now, actually. It's not tasty, oh, it just looks gross. <laughs> this is I could have made it green. I could have made it green. Yeah, soup. oh my gosh, we, do, we should do that for Halloween. We should eat, like, brain soup or something. No, yeah, let's make it broccoli. Broccoli and cauliflower, you like that, don't Broccoli you? is kind of terrifying, actually. Now do Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprout soup. No! Make it stop! Yeah, I can't be doing the broccoli. Or, well, no, I can do broccoli, but it's not very much. And I cannot do cauliflower, and I cannot do bro um, Brussels sprouts. What vegetables can you do, vegetarian lady? Carrot. Mushroom. Parsnip, pumpkin, sweet potato. Is sweet potato? Oh, I sound really dumb now. Is sweet potato a vegetable or a root? I feel like it's a root or a tuber. Is a carrot a vegetable or a root? Oh, God, these are existential questions now. Well, yeah, which part of the plant is the... Because the leaves are the bit that's above ground, so maybe they're the actual plant. Maybe we're actually eating the roots of a leafy plant this whole time. Oh, mind blown. 
Mind blown. Sometimes there's just things that you can't think about. Like? Well, that kind of stuff. But also things like, um, you know when you eat seeds? That's really weird. Why do we eat seeds? That's because literally like the baby of a plant. It. It's a baby plant. Why do people eat veal? The, the baby of a cow. I mean, I don't understand that, so don't ask me. Why do people drink milk? That's, yeah, milk is weird. Literally See, cow juice. I've been trying to get it off milk, um, but cheese happens. Um, and I, yeah, why, why, we shouldn't have started having cow's milk in the first place. Why did we do that? So strange. Oh, what research says, after the first, I think, couple of years, you should come off milk, mm -hmm. cow's milk, because you become more lactose intolerant. Yes. Yeah, so I really we shouldn't be eating this. It's funny, a lot of people around the world are lactose intolerant, um, genetically. Which uh, it just kind of blows my mind a little bit because obviously I'm not, and I don't know anyone who is. So to find that like whole cultures are genetically lactose intolerant is kind of crazy. Mm. Like what do they... And I mean obviously the answer is exactly what vegans do, but you just think like what do they do? Not have cheese. Mm. All different types of cheese, I guess. Like coconut cheese. Uh. So I just need to sit in a bit of a wall. You've barely even mm. put your plate in front of the camera and shown no. your shame. No. No. I refuse to. I refuse to be shamed on camera. What I don't like about this bread is that there's like a load of like really flowery stuff on the bottom. I like that. I don't like it. I feel like I need to just go lie down in a darkened <laughs> room for a while. <laughs> You're so bad. I know, I'm like having to talk all by myself <clears throat> and do all the eating. I'm like carrying the whole thing. Uh, uh, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Yeah, let's talk more about Drag Race. Mm. Uh, the other Tanya shouldn't have won. Bad the choice, other... RuPaul. The other Tanya, that's not her name. The other Tyra. Tyra, yeah. Shouldn't have won. <laughs> no, she shouldn't have won. That should have been. At all. Was that Rod? No, Roger did win. What season was that? Raven. Oh, Raven and GGB. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love those girls. And actually, Raven and GGB. Uh, Raven did win All Stars, didn't she? I think so, I can't remember. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Yeah, I can't remember now. But RuPaul's face, when he made the two of them uh, dance together, dance against each other, it's like, I have made a mistake. I have to say, um, Manila losing, what, three times in all? That's the biggest mistake RuPaul's ever made. Oh, apart from when she said that she doesn't like trans people. Other than that. I don't know she says she doesn't like trans people, she just finds that then wanting to do... What was her words? Them doing drag... Trans people doing drag is cheating? Yeah, something like that. Something like that, which I kind of disagree with. In fact, I'm saying that you're going the extra step. But also, um, she also said, she also had the, um, there was that really controversial segment. I can't remember what it's called now. It was like, um, oh, she male. She male was the segment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, um, I can't remember the last time I heard that before at that point. No. It's like... It's very old. It's very old. Oh, look, it's all flour. I don't want to eat that bit. <laughs> it's gross. I'll put it in the oven for you. Oh, I don't like it. You know, I might be nearing the end of this because this is all floury underneath. <sighs> it's not great, guys. It's not tasty. Oi! Well, I mean, the rest of it was, just not the... Bread. You didn't make the bread, to be fair, so... Well, what I can do with that is I can actually put tomato paste on it and cheese and cook it and it'll make it into kind of like a pumpkin pizza thing. If you want me to. That sounds good to me. I can't Reuse and recycle, guys. Actually, I could do that with tomorrow before I go out mm -hmm. in the morning. Such a good little house, husband. I just think of different ways. Like I, 
literally could make pumpkin puree out the rest of the pumpkin and then make that into a pumpkin pie. Oh, we haven't had pumpkin pie in so long. We used to do a no-bake pumpkin cake. Do you remember that? Mm. It was really tasty and it had um, like a date-based crust, dates and nuts. Mm. And then like a really smooth pumpkin filling that was really tasty. I think I might do that. At some right. point in October, that's all right. I'm done here. I think I'm done ages ago. I've eaten ago. the amount of bread that I actually, oh. I feel like I could eat the rest, but I don't like it because it's all floury. I'll show you guys what it looks like. My stomach is just white. It's like all this horrible <laughs> white flour everywhere. It's just not very nice. I'll, I'll make sure I dust it off next time. Yeah, floor. dust it off before it gets all stuck on there. Oh. Ugh, all right. Now I'm just going to like die a little bit out of here. <sighs> yeah, I'm doing that as well. <laughs> So, we've had a good mukbang. Mm. I did anyway, you didn't even attempt I it. I got halfway through. Ugh. You got a little bit further than me. I won. I won. I won. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll probably see you in two weeks, because we're not doing next week, because it's somebody's birthday. Yay! So, uh, we will see I you in two weeks. Cake. After we've eaten loads of cake and pizza and stuff like that, that make us even fuller than usual. And I guess that's it. Cool. We are done here. Yeah? We yeah. are done. Okay. So, see you in a not next week, week after. Smash that subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications. No, that's YouTube, pun. And make sure that you press skip nails on. No. <laughs> <laughs> we have those. Actually, that's not going to make sense because I do upload these to YouTube. So, someone is probably going to watch this on YouTube. And hear me going, no, no, that's for YouTube. That'd be confusing. If you're on YouTube and watching this, hit the bell so you can get notifications when uh, we're next posting a video. Um, keep talking in the comments nicely, please. <laughs> behave, children. Uh, and we shall get back to you if you behave. Uh, what was that? Oh, we've got one last up. White Trojan. And I represent a perfume company and would like to buy your unwashed panties. <laughs> No, from us. Yeah, from Mr. that'd Tiger. be a very, very bad Snow idea. Leopard. Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard. I don't know. We have this discussion all the time. So, uh, anyway. yeah, Mr. White Trojan, you cannot. Anyway. We shall see y'all in two weeks. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.